Hey guys, welcome to my off-road camper and this is going to be a little walk-around video too. I'm going to show you some of the functions, the setup you've already seen in the time-lapse and uh, we're just going to highlight some of the main features. So if you follow me through, first thing you'll see here is we have a really nice pull-out rubberized storage area. So this is going to allow you to put a couple of Tupperwares in here and all your bits and pieces. It's a nice little additional bit of storage to use on the unit. Right next door to that, we have a really big oversized toolbox that goes the whole way through. It can be accessed both sides with ventilation. And that is going to give you a 70 liter Dometic fridge freezer with separated compartments. The lids come off as well, which you can open from either side, which is another cool feature. What we like to do is when we're actually traveling, we will have the fridge in the back of our car charging through 12 volts and we will put more storage units here, luggage bags, clothing, uh, camping chairs, things like that. And once we arrive at our campsite, we'll just swap it out. Going over to this side, this is the brains of the trailer. This is your control panel with your switch. This is where you're going to inflate the tent automatically by itself. You've got your two water tank indicators. Each tank has got 70 liters on board, which is feeding your shower at the back, as well as your basin and your kitchenette that slides out. You've got toolbox lighting, you've got water pumps for each side of the trailer, as well as LED lighting throughout. Coming over this side, this is where all of your cooking is gonna go on. You'll notice throughout the trailer, there's 12 volt ports. You can put USB uh, connectors in there. That's gonna let you charge your phones, your Bluetooth speakers. You also have 220 volt power. So you're able to put a power strip on here and this is going to be able to let you put your kettle, your microwave, anything else on the table that comes outside that is included with the trailer. Looking at the wheels, we have an all-terrain tire with 15-inch alloy rims too, as well as the spare on the back. Cool guys, I'm going to take you underneath to see what's driving this beast. If we lift up here and my cameraman can get in, you'll see that this is something not really seen in South Africa because it is a very expensive setup. We have a independent suspension with dual springs and oversized coils. And this is going to let the trailer articulate and move on any terrain that you try to get to. This is one of the top features of this product and why if you're an adventurer, you should definitely look at purchasing this product. All right, to show you what will probably be your wife's favorite part of this camper, you can now prepare gourmet meals with the stainless steel slide-out kitchenette. So this is going to run with gas. Everything is stainless steel. If you flip this over, you have a nice supported chopping board with an additional space for drying dishes, anything like that. You have running water and this is going to connect directly to your port on this side. And if we open up here, this protective wind guard keeps this beautiful four burner gas stove operational, even with the strongest of winds if the Southeast is blowing and it allows you to cook up some amazing meals while you're camping. You're not restricted to just lighting a fire and brying three times a day. Alrighty, so moving to the back of the trailer, you have your power management system here, which is completely solar ready with Anderson plugs. You just need to provide your own solar panels and you're ready to go off grid. Inside we have a built-in inverter, which is gonna convert your 12 volt to 220 volt. You've got 200 megaamp deep cycle batteries, as well as battery chargers and all the extension cables that you need. And finally on this side here is your shore power connector. Most of the campsites you're gonna to go to are gonna allow you to plug directly into shore power and charge up the batteries on the trailer. You should get about two days or three days of full usage with the power system on board. That's gonna run your fridge, freezer, and basic appliances like charging phones and keeping all of your LED lighting on. As I mentioned, with a couple of solar panels, everything is completely solar ready. That will allow you to go completely off grid with this product. Moving to the back front of the trailer, you're going to have your outdoor shower compartments. This is going to connect directly to one of your water tanks. If you buy an optional geyser with the unit, which can be supplied at around 2,500 Rand, that is going to allow you to use both hot and cold water on this unit. 
And then finally, on the other side of the fridge toolbox, even when the fridge is completely in, it's going to give you a nice bit of area where you can store all your bits and pieces like a portable toilet, extra wood, um, anything really that you need extra space for. So there is plenty of space. And as you can see on this side here, there is also a heavy duty cargo bin which goes on the top. This is going to let you put your camping chairs, your gazebos, your camping tables, umbrellas, a little boat or bicycles. Alrighty, so moving into the trailer, the first thing you'll see is these really nice checkered place aluminum fold down stairs, which are adjustable to any height depending on what terrain you're on. If you follow me inside, you just cannot comprehend how much space is in this trailer. We've actually imported this custom made tent, which is over two and a half meters high. Uh, standing, I cannot even reach the top. And this is going to create a really nice open atmosphere and environment, which is not available anywhere in South Africa on a camping trailer. And um, this really is something out of a movie. So you'll notice all of the windows that let in light have actually got a three layer system to them. On the outside, you have your mosquito netting, then you have an inner layer of, or a middle layer of uh, plastic sheeting, and then finally an inside layer of canvas. All of these can be used independently depending on where you're camping and what the weather conditions are like. So as you walk into the trailer, the layout that you can see is there's two bedroom pods. These are privacy pods, so you can actually zip them closed. They've got two layers, a mosquito net layer, as well as a canvas layer, big open windows throughout, a lot of space. And both of these feature a really nice, soft, brand new uh, double mattress on each side. One of the top features of this product is this beautiful lounge seating area. This can be a dinner area. You can sit down and read your favorite books. Um, it also allows the whole front of the tent here to open up, giving you a beautiful panoramic uh, view of everything. So you're equally as comfortable being outside, sitting here with your favorite meal after you've cooked. And the best part about this is if you're traveling with quite a few people, this table will fold flat and this will convert into a third double bed. So this is actually a six sleeper trailer. So with the additional annex that goes on front, you can even sleep up to eight people with this product. And um, a nice gray color scheme throughout, nice and neutral, nothing flashy. So one of the other nice things about this trailer is that there's ample storage space inside. If you follow me over here, we have storage space on this side for bits and pieces you want to throw in there, first aid kits, things like that. We have a slide out cabinet that I've been using as a toolbox. And then you have three very large fold up cabinets, which can hold umbrellas, camping chairs, bits and pieces, fans, heaters, clothing, luggage bags, all those sort of things. So besides the external space that you have in the form of the toolboxes and the load bin, there is also lots of storage inside the product to keep all your bits and pieces. So I built this trailer overseas about a year and a half ago because my wife and I saw something similar and it was just completely unaffordable for us and we still wanted the experience. So we sat down and looked at what our options were, took features from different trailers and spent a lot of time uh, chatting with manufacturers and came up with this product. And yes, it does look similar to something else that is on the market, I'm sure a few of you have seen. Um, but that's not the point here. The point here is that we've worked within our budget and managed to build something and customize it to create a camping experience for us that is just unbelievable. Um, every weekend we want to go camping. The product is fantastic. Uh, it just creates so much of an easy setup for you it takes so much of the stress out of camping and sadly it's time for this trailer to find a new owner so if you're interested check out the phone numbers check out the website we've set up and if you outside of Cape Town and you come down and purchase the trailer we will cover the cost of your flight um, and one last thing to discuss is the air beams 
So as we mentioned, there are absolutely no poles in this trailer. My wife and I hate getting to a campsite, having to figure out which poles go where. So by using Airbeam technology, this allows the trailer to inflate within five minutes and deflate within 10 seconds. A lot of people ask us, well, what's the durability of it in terms of what if they get a leak? What if they pop? What if you're under a thorn tree? And um, these are the same sort of technologies used in kite surfing gear and they withstand incredible wind pressure um, so the product is very solid we've never had a leak never had an issue and we do have replacement air bladders which can be very easily zipped in as well as repair kits which will take care of any issues you might have if you look on the side at that red valve over there that is an air release valve so you can never over inflate the trailer and lastly one of the questions we get a lot is you know how does the structure handle wind and to answer that nothing can come close to what this does in windy conditions we've camped in gale force southeaster where people with tented gazebos with poles have had the poles snap um, tents blown down and this trailer hasn't moved and the reason why is that the bedroom pod air beams are structured in a way that all of the air beams push into each other which creates a very solid um, internal structure. And because the whole tent is actually stretched out, there's a lot of pressure pushing out, which doesn't allow it to be pushed in. So you're not actually gonna get a better camping experience than with your air beams, as well as the, the sheer amount of space it creates. There's one last thing we're gonna show you, and we're gonna skip to that video now. So the last feature I wanted to show you is one of our favorites and uh, that is this amazing 100 inch projector screen. We just need to hang it a little bit straight but I'm sure you get the point. So the trailer does come with a screen as well as a projector which goes on the table which is worth about 13,000 Rand that we're throwing in. It's a full HD projector and that's going to allow you to plug in your laptop and watch movies in full HD at your campsite, whether you need to keep the kids occupied, maybe the weather's not so great outside, or maybe you just need to spend some time indoors, make some popcorn and chill. Um, there is nothing else available in this country that is going to include this with the trailer. Uh, this is really taking your camping to the next level. So on the outside of the trailer, you'll see there is a zip line going across at the top and the sides. This is actually a placement for a annex, which comes with the trailer at no extra charge, which is around the retail price of about 25,000 Rand. It's a polyester waterproof tent that's going to zip on, and it's gonna give you access to your kitchen, to your fridge, um, and just extend your living space if you want to have more people sleeping outside. So we're gonna pop that up for you. That does inflate as well with the hand pump. It takes about three minutes and so we're going to show you what that looks like alrighty so the last little accessory we're going to include with the trailer i wanted to show you was the nice and lightweight waterproof annex that zips on within about 30 seconds and also uses air beam technology throughout so you'll just have a hand pump you'll pump up one air beam which will go the whole way around you've got a lot of anchoring points as well and this is going to create a really nice big additional living space inside the trailer. If I take you inside. You'll see just the amount of space and height that you get with the annex. So this is going to allow you to set up an extra uh, bed and inflatable mattress for two people even and it's going to give you direct access to a powerpoint your kitchen and your fridge on this side and this really just doubles the amount of space in the trailer um, if the weather's raining it's a bit uh, wintry outside you can sit inside and the whole side tent here is actually going to fold up creating one really nice big panoramic open space so this is definitely one of our favorite parts of the trailer so this whole outer annex that you see is going to give you about 12 square meters of extra space which is plenty to have your table which you can take from inside place it outside um, 
as well as one more thing we wanted to point out there is a sheet cover to go over here which is inside the trailer and that will seal off these areas it will velcro onto here cover all of this but still give you access to your plugs and kitchen it'll go the whole way down once you've put your ground sheet in your tent pegs this is essentially a whole nother uh, living space that you'd be able to use so just the final walk around view of the trailer the main big canvas tent your waterproof nylon tents on the outside with about 12 square meters of space also inflatable goes up in about two minutes again no poles anywhere on this product and that's it